Hi, Sinead. Very welcome. Good to see you again. And Shane, you're very welcome to the show. Hi. Thanks for coming and doing the number for us. But uh, a strange combination, an unlikely combination, I said at the beginning. Uh, how did the two Different sexes, yeah. Well, that's a start, anyway. How did the two of you come to do this, this song? Well, it's um, your, your song. Yeah, well, uh, it was Liam Taylor's idea. <laughs> yeah, but you, you knew the song already. No, I didn't. We did didn't? it a few years ago. We recorded no, actually we about two or three years yeah. ago, I think. So just Shane well, rang up and asked me. So. It's been uh, mixed and things, and uh, had the had the uh, over, overdubs and stuff put on it and all the rest of it. But the basic yeah. recording that, that you can buy in the shops now that's shooting into the UK charts at the moment is already in the Irish charts. The basic thing was recorded a couple of years back. Yeah. The actual basic backing track, yeah, and Sinead's vocal, yeah. Okay, are you um, surprised by its instant success? I mean, you were on top of the pops? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean you're successful. You can be on the top of the pops and not be successful. Plus, you can be successful and not necessarily be good and deserve to be on top of the pops. You yeah. Know I mean, you can get to number one and not be a good record at all. Like, so yeah, it's not as it happens, a this is a good record. You know, it is successful, so, yes, and you were on top of the pops. So we were on top of the pops. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but no, I'm not surprised. It's, if it is successful, it's because it is a great record, which it is. Shane's a great songwriter, in my opinion. Yeah. So. And and the notion of the two of you, um, yeah, Shane is a terrific songwriter. I mean, long after we're all gone, they'll be still. Performing and, and recording. Oh, Shane's not bad, you know. <laughs> I, know. I wouldn't say I was in your lead. She is though. one of those who would say self praise is no praise anyway. So uh, we, we're we're here to, to praise her own songwriting records and, and performances. But uh, the the song itself from Sid and Nancy uh, about Sid Vicious and his girlfriend Nancy. I mean, was that something that you wanted to write about, uh, Shane? No, it was, or was it just a commission? It was the commission, yeah. But I mean. Uh, but I, well, I knew Sid and Nancy, yeah. I didn't like the film. You didn't like the film? Did no. you like Did you like Sid? I didn't like the film, no. I didn't like what they did with it, but I didn't know what they, the film was going to be like when I wrote the song. I just wrote the most, uh, most uh, emotional sort of... Uh, it's a sad song, you know. Yeah. yeah. But it's happy in a way, because there's sort yeah. of... Reunited somewhere else. You know? yeah. yeah. Did did you empathise with Sid Vicious? Did you sympathise with, you know, the way he lived and the way he ended up? Well, I, I, at the time I was living pretty much the same way. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah do, do you worry at all about your own mortality? Um. No, well, everybody does, don't they? I do. But I mean, um, you do. Yeah, only last night I was worrying about my mortality. What, what sort of thoughts come into your head about your own mortality? I mean, it's you're a scary, young woman. Dying, it's the whole idea of dying is scary. And is, is that all there is? Yeah. yeah, and just the whole thing of, you know, what are we all doing here? How does the earth hang in space? And what's going to happen to me when I die? And is it going to be slow and painful? That kind of thing. It's the dying rather the than the death. The actual dying, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. But I think also if you get through birth, which must be the most difficult passage, I think death is probably a breeze. You know what yeah. I mean? When you watch people. So, Who've had a long illness, they tend to slip away rather than, you know, they don't. They stop fighting at a certain point. Yeah, I think living is harder, probably. <laughs> yeah, living is harder, and some people, like Shane, make living a lot harder than it so. than it need be. Well, I don't know. You see, yeah, but again, you know, everyone's different. Do you know what I mean? And and everyone makes their own rules and lives their life according to their own things. So, do you know what I mean? What's difficult for you might not be difficult for Shane. Do you know sure. what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Vice versa. We can't get in under each other's skins yeah, and really you know to know what it's so. like to be. Yeah. All right, you know that. Yeah. You could well do. <laughs> I hope you haven't any plans for my immediate demise. That's the <laughs> only thing. Um, I, I noticed in rehearsing, Shane, that you're—I mean, you really love doing what you do. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you enjoy the bits in between, like the travelling? You're, you're doing a big tour of America fairly soon. Well, is it, it's not. Well, I've done lots of big tours of America. Yeah. yeah. But we're I'm not. A big tour of America goes on for months. You know. Yeah. I'm not going to do one of those, no. But do you look forward to that, or do you only get your charge when the gig is on and the bits in between are well, tedious? Well, right, uh, the getting to the gigs, sound checking, all the, tra the travelling, depend if you travel right the right way, if you can get it together, like by bus or 
and Bob, if you can get that together. But with American stuff, you have to use planes or height planes. You know? Fear of flying? No, no, they just treat me like a piece of... <laughs> <laughs> they really do, do they? When you check in, they kind of spit to one side and then... No, they spit straight at me. <laughs> <laughs> What about uh, songwriting? I don't know when you write songs. You know, you know, what does it have to be a particular set of circumstances, a particular quiet time, or could you do it in the back of the bus as you're going to a gig? Or mostly, I do mine in airplanes. Actually, up in the air, where there's nothing else to think about particularly. So, right. but it's different. There's no rules. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't say there's any rules anyway. It's always. It's just for shame. People would reckon with the life you lead, or that you're characterised as leading. That where do you get the time to write a song? Well, I don't need the life I'm characterised as leading, you know, I just I like a few drinks, you know. <laughs> and uh, and like I've had a lot of good ideas for songs in pubs. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? But but it does there's no no set rule for when you're suddenly gonna get a blast of inspiration or whatever it is, you know. Yeah. And uh, do, do you find it's something that happens usually or uh, a story somebody tells you or you just remember something that happened to you or whatever. You know, my songs aren't intensely personal, like Morrissey's, yeah. for instance. You know, they're um, not about all about me. Okay, you know. I, I, you're you're performing quite well, clearly. Yeah, no, I mean yours are universal. You know. Yeah, yours are intensely personal a lot of the time. Um, does it worry you that you wear your heart on your sleeve because the emotion that, that gave birth to the song is not necessarily the emotion that still persists in your soul and heart by the time the song comes out and everybody then imprints the song on you and says, Sinead's feeling this way? No, because you can write very personally and at the same time be quite vague. I mean, it, you know, I heard a quote once which I really liked, which said, what if one woman told her story, the whole world would break open. So you have to be very careful about the information you do give because people don't necessarily know how to respect that information. Um, but uh, I was going to say, one thing I do notice about writing songs is that you can often write a song and it can feel very personal in a certain time, but you won't discover until a year after you wrote it what it's really about. You'll find them coming true in your life after you've written them. Your subconscious often writes songs, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know what it is I'm saying to myself sometimes, but then years later I'll realise what the song was about. Yeah, I was talking to a woman on, on the radio so during the week who was interpreting yeah, dreams and she says your dreams yeah. are telling you things yeah. and you don't necessarily know what yeah. they're telling you until maybe yeah. Well, it's the same with songs, on. yeah, because that's my way of speaking to myself. Again, I suppose that's why I write so personally is because I'm talking to myself, really, do you know what I mean? Trying to find myself somehow, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. And what kind of a charge do you get out of uh, performing, Shane? I mean, at the end of a, a, a gig, how do you feel? I feel great. I feel great at the end of a gig, and then I feel a sort of massive drop because it's the end of the gig. Mm. And you're like, clearly it's performing like, regularly. Sir, yeah. It's a really, it's the most exciting thing you can do. You can play do. a good gig, I yeah. think. Really. But you've got an active band and so on. I'm just, I'm hoping that you know soon we're going to see you again with the band and have yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah, I'm starting touring actually in Dublin. I've got two dates, the first and second of June, and from then on, I'm going to be Excellent. on tour till August. As we get to see you from time to time with the the, the Irmo Awards and tonight, you know, yeah. occasionally we don't get to see you. Yeah, well, I'm a mother also, so you know, I've got to put a bit Busy of time, time in there too. You know. So. All right. Well, look, thank you both for taking the time to be with okay. us tonight. Thank Lovely you. to see you again, yes. Sinead and Shane. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Thanks very much indeed. Off you go. You can enjoy the rest of your night. Sinead O'Connor and Shane McGowan. Thanks.